Welcome to the Catbird Quilts. I'm Kathy Martin, and today we are on location thrift shopping at a new place for me. Not new, but just new to me. And we're kind of on the looking for a unicorn trip. So this is when I say I'm on the prowl. Today I'm on the prowl. And what I have is my binding strips that I couldn't find things that matched well. So I'm really specifically looking for a shirt or pants or linens that match that ombre, the linen for my orange peel quilt, and then this blue that's left over from the birch point quilt. So this is what I'm looking for and really only looking for. Now, sometimes when I do that, I find everything else under the sun. So this may be a thrift haul bust, but we're going to give it a shot. So as I'm going through this, these are small shirts, which I probably don't want. Holy mackerel, feel that shirt. It is so thick and soft. What is that? Okay. I don't need that. I really want that. <laughs> And I'm not going to get it because it's actually really, um, even though it's really thick, it's would need to go with like flannels or other fuzzy. And that's just not where I am right now. Ooh, that's pretty. Twill. This would make great binding. And I get these shirts a lot. Um, these kind of tan twill. Um, and you would think, ugh, it's kind of dull, but it's actually great because it doesn't um, steal attention from the quilt top. That's got to be cotton poly. That's a good blue, though. Oh, and at this, so this store is called the King's Home Thrift. And I called on Saturday to see if they'd be open today. And they are. And it's half off today. So hopefully we find something good. We may not. I don't know what that is. It doesn't have that. There it is. Uh, cotton poly. Of course. It's too bright just to be playing cotton. Don't need that. That's a good plum if I was looking for one. That's a good blue if I was looking for one. A buggy. <laughs> For those of you not from the South, a buggy is a shopping cart. Oh, you know what? I didn't think about that with that. You know what? Look at me. I was buzzing through so fast. Sometimes I do that. That's actually pretty close, but I think it's a little. This one. So sometimes I get in a rush. Um, this one is actually not bad. It's a little muted. Let's see. Oh, that's kind of high. Also in the South, in the deep South, we say, oh, that's kind of high. And what that means is expensive. <laughs> oh, that's 100% cotton. Oh, I wish I had had that when I was doing that first point. That's pretty, that's pretty close. What do you think about that, Paul? Mm, it's a nice contrast. Mm, so that would be $4.99. It's a medium. Eh, not that much. It's too muted. Oh, peach. Not a fan. That's cotton poly, probably. Uh, maybe not, actually. Where is... Oh, it's cotton. It's just very thin. Nope. If I wanted plaid. This is the place. This is the place. That's a movie quote, but I don't remember what from. Also, it is freezing in here. 
Oh, that is weird. What is that? This is very soft. Oh, I got to put my stuff away. It's like a woven. Oh. Cut the tag out. That's a beautiful rose color, but I'm, mm, I'm not sure. If I don't have a lot of time, I'll do exactly what I'm doing right now. It's just like, just this, that's the noise. That's nice. What is that? That is huge and soft. And I do not need that, but golly. Mm. It's that heathered. It's a, I think it's an Oxford. Yeah, it's an Oxford cloth. I don't need that. Why am I looking at that? I may also, that's pretty. If I find some gingham, I'll probably buy it. <laughs> Mostly because I've been using a lot of my gingham and I've used it up. That is so pretty. But I don't need that. Again, with the unicorn. Sometimes it's when I come to the thrift store and I'm looking for something specific. I um, I have to remind myself, like, I don't, I don't need any more. Like, I've got so many shirts. That's another good one. That's another good one that I have almost identically at home. Green. I'm making this face, face to fall like green because I have a hard time finding good greens. So it is 100% cotton. Do I need that? No, I do not. Why am I? Why? Ooh. Oh, hey. Um, this is a corduroy shirt. This is a nice corduroy shirt. And um, one of you, you know who I'm talking about, <clears throat> Tav, um, takes corduroy men's shirts and makes um, really, really cute stuffed animals out of them. So if you are in the thrift store and you're shopping and you run into a corduroy shirt and you are especially crafty, they make wonderful um, fabric for stuffed animals because it's got that cool texture and it's really soft. Oh, <gasps> purple shirt. Nuh-uh. If this is cotton, I'm getting it. Ah, oh, it's cotton poly. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> the legend of the purple shirt lives on. That's nice. She muted. A million navy. If I want a navy, I've seen about 15 already. Ooh, that's interesting. That's linen. That's got to be linen. Where, where, oh, where are you tonight? Um, oh, that's from Hee Haw. Oh, goodness. Yeah, it is linen. I really don't need that, though. But that is. Oh, man. I mean, how would I use that, really? Buy it and give it to Jennifer. What is the price? Four ninety nine. So that would be. Why can't I do math? Two fifty. Mm, maybe. Also, if you're wondering why I don't have a buggy, it's because there aren't any. There are so many people here. That would be a fantastic plaid for a Christmas quilt. Just side note. I have a lot of orange gingham still. So I don't need that. That is almost the color of that one that I call turquoise. It's not really turquoise. Let's see how good my my color. Oh yeah, look at that. Ooh, that color is gross. But that's I mean that's like that's pretty close. Color memory. 
Sometimes I nail it. Sometimes I don't. I wonder if that would be one. Hang on. I got to get it. I got to get away from it. How much is it? Yeah, let me get that. Oh, I just, I didn't check. See if it was cotton. It is. I really, I'm never going to find something that's going to be that. <laughs> First of all, before I get attached to this, oh no, it's cotton poly. Nope. I may never actually find something to match that. Why am I struggling with this? To match that ombre. It may have to go the way of the dodo. That's interesting and thick. Golly. This is going to be cotton poly a bit. But it's got an interesting texture. It's like um, that is raised. So all everywhere that you see those white stripes, that would be a great low volume to have. This is what happens to me. I come in for a unicorn. 100% cotton. Oh, that's seven ninety nine dollars though. So that would be three fifty dollars for a large. Oh, never mind. It has this whole big seamed thing. Mm -mm, no, I don't want to work on that right now. <laughs> this is the 70s. That's the 70s Christmas plaid. This is um, flannel. Actually, it's right here at the time of year that people have like culled all of their stuff from the winter that they're not going to wear. So there's actually a lot of... Um, flannel that I've seen already. It's kind of interesting. It's a very muted. It's like lavender. And I feel certain that's cotton. How much is that? No. Let's see. All right, that's 100% cotton. Oh, I like that. Oh, yeah. What do you think? I think that's kind of nice. Doesn't really go with this one much. Actually, that's, that's a pretty good. And see, look, it's not as bright. So I get the benefit of the color palette without it being too bright. I think I'll get that. There's another one of those really thick shirts again. A lot of herringbone woven shirts. These are, these make really pretty, like the herringbone style. Um, they give some interest in the end result, but um, they are a little bit hard to work with. So when you cut your pieces, because since it's that woven, it wants to shift and it frays really badly. So if you are out there and you see one of these, this one is super thick. Um, definitely have to use spray starch or best press or one of those kind of things um, to stabilize the piece. Or I guess you could put um, a featherweight or sheer fusible interfacing in it. Ooh. <gasps> hey, I'm not even gonna look at this price. I'm gonna look at the price. But it doesn't matter this price. I'm 100% buying this shirt because it is. <laughs> and it's gray, which I always like to have um, interesting grays because I use them a lot in backings. And I have, I have another plan. <laughs> I have a lot of plans. Uh, I want to do kind of like an all, just like I'm doing the tan linen and white orange book quilt. I want to do a gray something. <laughs> oh, that is a gray shirt. I wish, look at that. Oh my gosh, that flower. I wish that was what the yoke was. That flower part right there. Oh, let's see. Yep. That's fun. Okay, that's 
That's going with me. Millennial color palette shirt. <laughs> if I was still making that baby quilt for Karis, that would have made an excellent addition. A lot of yellow today. There are a bunch of light blue shirts today. And if I was doing a, if I was doing a baby quilt that was like a um, light blue and white or light blue and cream, man, this would be like the mother load. No tan linen yet, though. And no teal, which was kind of what I was looking for. Ooh, that feels so good. And I would be so tempted to buy that. But that is very thin. There's another one of those. It's not herringbone, but it's got that. It's a very woven feeling. It's just got a lot of stretch. I'm also looking for a white shirt that has like maybe this color in it. Um, in that birch point quilt, I have the kind of golden yellow and then the white has I called it the golden sprig. It has little golden sprigs. I'm kind of looking for that same thing, except with white and blue. Ooh, that is cotton poly. That is a beautiful pink. Look at that. This is one of those complex plaids. This is flannel. I mean, to really, if I was looking for flannel, but this is one of those complex plaids that you think, what would I do with that? Kind of like that madras plaid that I have from the Magnolia quilt. That would be so gorgeous. I never thought I would get into purple. Purple's never been my thing. Um, but one of my um, friends, the Catbird Quilt viewers, Laurie, is working on a um, purple quilt. And we have Facebook messaged each other. So may send her some of this. If you join me on Patreon, this is the sort of thing that if I know about your projects and I see something, I don't want to be generous. I can send you something. Wouldn't that be fun? That would be fun. You know, I said on that giveaway video, I really want to send every single viewer I have a shirt. How fun would that be? Not realistic <laughs> or cost effective. That is funky. That is super funky, actually. Why is that? I want you to feel this. Feel that. It's like, it's like the equivalent of hand quilting. That's strange. I want to wipe that off. <laughs> Ooh, it's a gorgeous pink. And it's 100% cotton, but I don't need that. And it's got these gigantic pockets on the front. That would be a pain to take apart, which by the way, this will too. This will be a total pain to take apart. And I don't need flannel. And I fuss about flannel. Mm, maybe I'm rethinking that. I don't know. We'll see. I'll probably get it anyway. After having done a couple of these videos and you guys comment like, get it in the comments. <laughs> I think that, think about that now. When I'm here, you know, people are walking by and I'm self-conscious because people are like walking by and looking and I'm trying to just like stay focused on my task. And then I get to that shirt, like which, like this one, I know there are, have got to be a nice size handful of you guys going, just get it, just get it. That is the color of the binding of the nine patch strip around the world quilt. I bet my hat on it. I don't have a hat, um, but it's cotton poly. Oh, and there's that same. Guys, I can't remember the name of that print. Somebody's going to have to remind me of that. It's a, like tartan. I think it's tartan. It just came to me. Oh, that's a good one, too. Lord have mercy. I could walk out of here with $200 worth of shirts. Yeah, I love it, but no. That's that same kind of dark blue slash kind of navy-ish that would have gone with some of these. That I really need to, I don't guess I need to not buy it, but I have this exact fabric and I have struggled to use it. That's kind of nice. I'm looking to see what the 
fabric is 100 percent cotton there are some brands that are just reliably 100 percent cotton the denim and flower shirts are almost always 100 percent cotton loud buggy coming this way this is this it's like the music of the thrift store <laughs> crying babies lots of different things going across and rattling metal um j crew is one of them so if you see a j crew shirt if you see a denim and flower shirt you're they're almost always going to be 100 percent cotton this is that to that other one Ooh, fairy Ooh. let's see um, I think it's actually too muted and it's a print and I was trying to go for a solid. So we'll just pass on that today. This is the shirt. That's the lining of your camera bag. I loved that fabric. It's got spandex in it though. So I might just buy that because I loved that fabric. Yeah, I'm going to get that. I will use that a thousand ways. Oh, it's got pen tucks on the back. Dang. Well, I'm still going to get it. I have used this shirt. I made masks out of it. I made a camera bag for Paul, and this was the lining. Um, I've used it in some places in a quilt. Some of you have asked in the comments, do I do only 100% cotton? And the answer is yes and no. Um, sometimes you'll find a shirt like this one is 96% cotton and 4% lycra or spandex. And so that means it's got a little bit of a stretch. Um, and sometimes you'll see one that has like a last stain. Um, so if it says, like if you read it and it says, this says body fit, but if it says, you know, stretch or whatever, um, you can use them. And it's not the same as polyester because the cotton behaves like cotton. Um, it doesn't hold a crease as well. Um, but the main thing is you just don't want to stretch it when you're cutting your pieces um, because obviously it will go back. Um, so I've used, used some like really mostly cotton, 96% and 97%. I tend to not buy the ones that aren't 100% cotton, but in this case, I like this fabric so much. And if I ever decide to make Paul a bigger camera bag or redo it, now I have replacement lining. That's a nice chambray. I don't need chambray, but that's a really nice chambray. What is that? It's cotton, but... So I'm getting ready to start um, Baby Girl's graduation quilt, and she wants it all dark, so black, patterns on black, navy, and I'm thinking that maybe that would be a good one, but now that I look at it, it's really more gray, so I think I'm going to pass. So what I'm doing, what I do every time, when I'm at the thrift store, like in this case, I'm going, I, my brain is going sweater, no, sweater, no, um, too, too big, weird texture. And that's just like on the inside. So if I'm not doing that out loud, it's, I'm doing it on the inside. This one is cotton poly. I think just based on the feel, I can find it. Which I can't. Is that? I can't find the thing. Um, but yeah, I've done it so much that I'm like, that's cotton poly. Ooh, <gasps> cactus man, cactus man. Oh yeah, we're buying this shirt. That's going in your navy, navy block. Well, right there. That yoke. Let's see if the cuffs. And I actually have this. I'm gonna have to make something with this. It. If you look really, really close, it's like an orange peel. And yep. <laughs> and it's an extra large. 
and it's four ninety nine, which maybe four ninety nine sounds like a lot, but it's half off, so that's two fifty, which is now very doable. All right, let's keep moving. So I went back to that three times just then. So Sissy, my friend that does the long arm quilting, I think she has this exact shirt. And I had the thought, I do this all the time. I shop for other people while I'm shopping for myself. Like if she ran out, I could always have that. But of course, I'd have to buy it now. And she doesn't need it. And I don't know what I'm thinking, but that's the truth. That's an Oxford cloth that I thought for just a second was linen. Weird. So that's one of those weird textures. If I was a, a cream person, that would be a good one. Just because it would, it could be a great background and it gives extra texture. Where's the, oh, that's cotton. Well, that's a surprise. I don't really use a lot of that color though. I've only recently discovered or kind of had the realization that I, a lot of quilters use cream and I don't use a lot of cream or beige. I'm really more of a white gal. Ooh, that's kind of fun. Again, not what I'm here for. I do this. Gosh, it's like somebody called it BSO, bright, shiny object. No, that's not. Also, if it has a sheen, a lot of times it's not hot. Man, the noises today. Oh, that's interesting. Look at that. That looks like a quilted cotton. I don't really like the actual shirt though. Oh, it's cotton poly. This is the sort of shirt that you see it up close and you go, oh, look at that. It's red and light blue. But You get over here and it's, it's pink. It reads pink. There are a ton of shirts here. I'm going to I'm gonna have to pick it up at a, a notch. I was doing so good. Got sidetracked. We're almost there. Then we have to go back the other way. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> if you enjoy unpicking, if you like seam reaping. You are. <laughs> this is our younger daughter's favorite buffalo plaid, red buffalo plaid. She gets it. Oh my goodness. Was not expecting that. <laughs> I'm just a bird in a gilded cage. Tweet is my name, but I don't know my age. Can't remember the rest of it. Can't remember the rest. Now I'm going to have to Google that when I get home. It's one of those good greens. Do I need green? No, I do not. Would that be a good one that had a mustache? Maybe. 100% cotton. I don't know. What do you think? Or no, you don't, don't like it. I like that shirt that he's trying on. Okay, this would not be something that I would naturally use. Um, but it's 100% cotton. It's very, very soft. And if I was doing another fall quilt, that would, that would make a really pretty fall quilt. 70s wallpaper. Corduroy, very, very fine whale. I think that's the right word. The whale. Yeah. Not W H A L E. I have this exact shirt and I regret buying it. If you're on my Patreon and you want it, let me know. I'll send it to you. Ooh. No. Too much work or not enough return. There's another interesting one. 
Ooh, I love that. 100% cotton. I don't want this shirt, though. I only want... <laughs> I, want, I want this shirt to be made out of those little details. Look. Oh my gosh. What is that? Mm, I'm not going to have to pay $250 for a collar and two cuffs. <laughs> this is that um, color theory, though. The reason why this is so pleasing is because the orange and it's. Tea, it's not really teal. It's kind of an aquamarine or turquoise, but that is just a, it's always a pretty pairing. This is a shirt that man was trying on. It's a nice shirt. <laughs> Flannel. Ooh. Oh. Let's see if that fits any of my stuff this would be like the equivalent of that navy with the small flex that i ended up using in the birch point quilt and this is an this is another one of those that is um 98 cotton and two percent spandex so it's got a little give I'm going to break my own rule twice today, but I'm getting that. That is amazing. It's also a two X. Double XL, my favorite. <laughs> nope. Small children do not like the thrift store. P.S. Linen and cotton. Yes, please. That's what it is. Oh, and it's two ninety nine. So it's a dollar fifty. Yes, please. And thank you. That may be that blue that I was looking for for the orange pill quilt. Well, that's cute. I wonder what that was a uniform for. It's obviously a uniform. Sometimes these are great if you get a color that you like in a uniform. This one is um, not cotton, but you think about this, you get, this is like three yards of fabric. So you could do the whole backing almost of a small quilt with that. I'm thinking graduation quilts on this. This is the thing, too, about having multiple quilt projects. If you can remember all the projects that you have. <laughs> yep, I think. What is that? Yep. I think we'll get that. Always got some good Hawaiian shirts in there. What is that, actually? Oh, coconuts and huts. I don't know what that is. Is that an open coconut? Ooh, look at that purple shirt, Paul. That's 100% cotton. I just don't need it. I wonder if that matches that. <laughs> you don't think it does? I mean, it's obviously much more vibrant, but... This is one of those, yeah, it's, it's, so the sleeve would be unusable. There'd be the whole back, collar's unusable, and it's short sleeve. Yep. What is that? That's got to have like rayon or something in it. Now I need to know, have no, no plan on buying this, but to have to stop and feel. Linen, cotton, and lyocell. Is that cotton? Please let this be cotton. I don't think it is. Look at that. Not for that price, though. Man, I was really hoping 
I'd stumble onto the linen. Alas, it's probably linen and cotton since it's Bangladesh. Linen and cotton. Just that. Yeah, I'm going to get that too. Sucker for linen. Where is... Okay, did I just look 100%? Oh, it's right there. Native American cotton. How much is that? Two nine nine, so dollar fifty. Yeah, I think so. And then if I run out of my turquoise linen and it matches, then ooh, that's bright though. It's like ooh, this is another one of those complex plaids. So you could fussy cut that and do just the purple section, just the yellow, or you could do a big block of it, and it'd be really pretty. I'm not going to get this because the last time I did this, I ended up going, what am I going to do with this? Is this linen? If this is linen, I'm also going to die. Cotton. Oh, it's a bright pink. <laughs> much is that? That's too dying. I don't know. What do you think? You think yes? Okay. <laughs> okay. So that's linen. Yeah, I think you might be right. I do love that though. I don't know what I would even use that in. I gotta look at it again. I don't know. Is it that much thinner than my other linens? Okay. So that's that.